So what do you think about this new dress? It's beautiful, isn't it? It's nice, but the shoes are a bit grandma style. And what about those? They're super cool. Like the contrast between feminine and masculine, I think they're... No, please don't punish me with those clumpers. What do you say about those? I think you will like them. I don't know. Can you wear something more feminine? Like those red soles I gave you. Honey, those are not shoes. They are the tools for medieval torture. You know what? Just go by yourself. I'm gonna stay home. Don't really feel like it. Jokes apart, shoes are the heroes of our outfit. They can make it or break it. And I know that for a lot of women, pairing shoes with the outfit, it's like trying to put some fashion puzzle together. But let's be honest, it's not some rocket science. All you need is a little know about proportions. Your own ones, like your height and figure shape, and those you create by putting items in the outfit together. And luckily for you, today I'm sharing five very easy and practical tips that will solve your shoe dilemma forever and allow you to look absolutely stunning whether you go for heels, boots or flats. So let's get started. Okay, let's start with the shoes we spend probably most of our time, apart from those rare Cinderella moments when we switch into heels, and those are trainers. And you may say trainers are a no-brainer, you can't really go wrong with them, but you can, and actually you do quite often. What you need to know about trainers is that there are two types of trainers, the chunkier ones with thicker soles and the dentier ones with thinner soles. And that's exactly what has a huge impact on the silhouette you create in the outfit. So here is the key principle. Chunky trainers work well with straight or slim fit trousers, while dentier trainers pair best with wide or straight leg trousers. The rule of thumb goes, the bulkier the shoes, the less fabric they need. Chunky trainers with wide leg trousers can make your outfit appear a bit too heavy and relaxed, especially if the trousers hemlines are too long and bunch up over the trainers. To achieve a sleek and elegant look, even with sporty attire, it's better to pair chunky trainers with straight, tapered or slim fitted trousers. And here you can see all the combinations in action. The first pair of outfits, chunky trainers with straight fit leather trousers and the same trainers with tapered fit jeans. Both bottoms are quite casual, however there is no bulk and in combination with structured layer they create effortless, casual yet smart look. In the second pair of outfits I went for more extreme fits, skinny fitted jeans, I know they're quite controversial, and slightly flared leather trousers. In the first outfit I balanced out chunky trainers with loose fitted shirt and padded vest. This way I also modernized my skinny jeans and gave them a new updated look. In the second outfit I've gone for a slightly wider bottom but it's still quite structured not overly wide and most importantly the hemline is just right so there is no bunching up over the trainers. Here we have the same wide leg trousers but paired with dentier trainers. Since we already have quite a voluminous bottom it is essential to balance it with sleeker shoes and Adidas indoor trainers with thinner soles work perfectly in this case. These trousers can also be combined with wide leg jeans, whether they're a slouchy fit or more structured wide leg fit. What is important is to maintain balanced proportions, you need to opt for a shorter jacket or top. If you prefer a more classic and fitted look, dainty trainers pair wonderfully with straight leg fit or mom's fit jeans. And for those who love thinking outside the box with their style, consider pairing them with cargo trousers, leggings, or even a maxi skirt, all while adding a sporty touch with some cool socks, as you see in my outfit here. These trainers might be the most versatile pair I've ever owned, so I'm thinking about getting another pair. Another must-have for fall winter season is Da -da -da -dum, cowboy boots. Cowboy boots are on trend this season. They were on trend last season and the season before. And they always stay in style if you only pick the right pair. And by the right pair, I mean subtle, neutral, universal color, preferably black, pointed toe, matching, stacked, medium height, angled heel, and no embellishment. No contrasting heels, no decorations or embellishment, no bold colors or prints, because they are already quite a statement. 
When it comes to pairing cowboy boots with trousers, jeans are probably the most obvious and classic choice. However, they can also work well with more tailored trousers in a straight fit, like this stylish combination here. The red two options I definitely recommend avoiding when it comes to cowboy boots, and those are wide leg tailored trousers and skinnies, of course. With wide leg trousers, the classic silhouette of the pants just clashes with the cowboy boots, creating quite an odd look. And as for skinnies, the boots can make the overall silhouette and proportions seem a little bit unbalanced, so I would definitely not recommend this combination. If you want to modernize your tailored trousers by pairing them with cowboy boots, just stick with straight fit for the coolest option. When paired with jeans, you can go for different options from wide leg to straight and tapered fit. What's crucial here is that jeans hands cover the boots. Whether it's a full length or crop style, the key is to ensure there is no overlap with the boot's edge as this can create rather unflattering effect and make your legs appear shorter. And to show you some of the outfit options, here I went for my favorite bootcut jeans from Halara. I'm gonna link them in the info box. And for the first outfit, I paired them with my favorite leather blazer from Massimo Dutti and structured jacket from Eero. Another one of my go-to looks includes cowboy boots with a denim maxi skirt. What I really love about this combination is how it plays with the silhouette and proportions. Whether it's those bootcut jeans or the denim maxi skirt, cowboy boots do wonders for elongating and slimming my figure, giving off this super feminine and yet really cool trendy vibe. And by the way, if you really want to know everything about how to dress for your figure shape, which is sort of my specialty, I'm preparing a really bombastic tutorial on that, breaking down all the secrets on styling different figure shapes, such as those with wider hips, top heavier figures, a little extra in the middle. So stay tuned and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the button and subscribe, not to miss anything. I love kitten heels, I love everything about them. The name, the look, the comfort they provide while still adding extra inches to your height. I think this is actually the reason why they're so popular lately. And again, the simpler, the better. Matching heel, pointed toe, quite loose around the ankle, a neutral universal color such as beige, camel, brown, black or cream. Kitten heels are one of the most universal and versatile models because they work with almost all fits of trousers. Wide leg, straight leg, boot cut, and the same goes for jeans models, from slouchy and boyfriends to flared, tapered and straight fits. However, there is one fit that tends to be quite controversial. Any guesses? You got it right. Again, I'm talking about the skinnies. When you pair skinnies with heels, it can sometimes take your style back to the 2000s, which isn't always what we're going for. But beyond the fashion aspect, it's also about proportion. Skinny jeans with heels tend to highlight the contrast between your wider hips and your narrow ankles. And that can be quite unflattering, especially if you have a bottom-heavy figure. And to show you some outfit ideas with kidney heel boots, my favorite combo is boots with tailored straight trousers in matching color, which I pair with a blazer or a longer layer to elongate the silhouette and create more elegant and classy look. For more casual vibe, I opt for leather pants and tweed jacket, and in this case I layer a jacket with cream turtleneck to balance it with cream boots and avoid drawing all the tension to my feet, which could eventually shorten my figure. And of course, kidney heels work perfect with maxi skirts, so for the second outfit, I went for monochromatic black combo and to highlight my face and add a fresh touch, I've thrown a beautiful golden tone blazer that again complements light tone shoes. Let's talk about knee-high boots since we're in fall winter season. To be honest with you, I only own one pair and that's basically the only pair I need because they're so stylish and so versatile that I can easily incorporate them into any of my outfits and immediately elevate them. And I'm talking about riding boots. And again, the more basic, the better. Subtle color, preferably black or chocolate brown. Pointed or rounded toe box, very thin dentier soles, very short heel, simple strap and buckle, and the most important detail. Are you ready? 
loose fitted around the knee and the ankle. Tight fitted models not only look quite outdated, but they also look quite unflattering because they will make your legs appear heavier. Of course, riding boots are a fantastic addition to skirt outfits, but they can also work with specific types of trousers. However, when choosing trousers to pair with them, there are a few things to keep in mind. Avoid trousers with a lot of volume or made from stiff fabric, like denim. This can lead to excess fabric and create rather unflattering bottom-heavy look. So it is best to skip wide leg fit or flared fits and of course jeans when opting for riding boots. The only exception for jeans that do work with riding boots are the skinnies. Finally can give a new life to your old skinnies without any risk of looking outdated. And remember to pair them with a loose fitted sweater or jacket to balance out the silhouette. Another great option is to pair riding boots with straight leg tailored trousers. Make sure the fabric is flexible enough to tuck smoothly into the boots and balance the look with a loose fitted top or a structured jacket on top. Another excellent choice for pairing with riding boots, especially in colder weather, my favorite one, is leggings. They're not only very comfy but also quite flattering for a range of body types when matched with a longer, looser top or jacket. You know, it's all about creating a stylish and balanced outfit. And here I've got some outfit ideas for riding boots that I'd love to share with you. First of all, my go-to formula for the fall and winter is pairing riding boots with leggings, which I consider my cozy and comfortable uniform. I team leggings with chunky knitwear, a leather jacket or even a puffer jacket for a more casual and relaxed look. As I mentioned before, the key to achieving a harmonious silhouette here is a loose fitting top. You have some flexibility with the top's length as long as it's loose and covers at least the middle of your hip. For a more feminine look, I love wearing riding boots with a straight maxi skirt paired with a short bomber jacket to create elongating one-third to two-third proportions. And for a statement and more unexpected option, I like to pair riding boots with a pleated skirt and a leather blazer. You know I'm a big fan of contrast dressing and in this case the edgy riding boots and leather jacket add a bold and modern twist to this feminine pleated skirt. And it's also a great way to revive your pleated skirts as they've been a bit forgotten lately. And voila, that's it for today. I really hope that this video was as useful as inspiring for you. Please let me know in the comments which topic you would like to see in my next video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!